Any updates? Uh, we're still checking. Nothing yet. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Run down any leads on missing HMX explosives. Hey. They had to slip up at some point. We just need to find out where. Don't mess with LA. That's the message viewers get week after week on the hit CBS show NCIS Los Angeles. We've been having a good time trying to trying to make these stories as real as possible, while at the same time remembering that our job is to make life easier for people and let people kind of see the good guys win a little bit. The action series about a criminal investigation brand of the U.S. Navy stars not only LL Cool J and Chris O'Donnell as special agents, but also the entire city of Los Angeles. Unlike most TV shows, NCIS LA shoots on location rather than on a soundstage. It isn't cheap and it takes a crew of around 150 to pull it off. They never cease to amaze me. I tell you, every time we come out here, you come in like, wow. There's not a lot of shows around Hollywood, at least, that are doing stuff that could keep us busy all the time. E.T. was on set with the crew tasked with making a bombing in Venice Beach look real. You know, we take a lot of creative license in television, but in a situation like this, we want it to be as realistic as possible. We took a lot of time with this episode to make sure that the way we describe how the city responds and how our team would respond and how the people in Los Angeles would respond is uh, very similar to what would actually happen. They had only one take to get it right. You really do only have one shot. There's no testing, there's no anything. But they nailed it, pulling off a blast that flipped nine cars and trucks. Stop, my camera! Let's get him, Roy. Stop! Take it swing! They just do an incredible job. Our special effects guys do an incredible job. To find out the one location Chris O'Donnell doesn't want NCIS LA to shoot at, log on to ET Online and click the California button.